Here is what you missed this morning on the Catholic Morning Show. Grateful to be able to uh, spend this time with you and spend some time in conversation with Lisa Wheeler. And uh, last July 4th, The Sound of Freedom shine a light, uh, that, that movie shine a light on the horrors of child trafficking. This, um, th- this July 4th, the Angel Studios has put out a movie that is going to shine a light of hope on uh, on the situation and provide a solution as it highlights the the work of a small town in East Texas that uh, uh, work to to bring kids out of the foster care system and into loving families. Good morning, Lisa Wheeler. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. Yes, Good to and, be here. And so first, uh, to tell our listeners a little bit. How did you come to be involved with uh, the movie Sound of Hope, the story of Possum Trap? Um, well, sure. So I, you know, I run a, a Catholic communications and marketing agency. We regularly um, market and promote films um, in the culture. Uh, we actually were the team that worked on Sound of Freedom um, and did much of the marketing and communications in the Catholic space uh, for that film. Um, but this film came to me. Uh, in sort of a different way. So I am the mom of five children who my husband and I adopted out of the foster care system. And the, the, the plight of, you know, this modern orphan crisis, um, that's what we call it, the yeah. modern-day orphan crisis in our, in our country, has been really close to our hearts for, you know, over a decade since we adopted our first daughter um, out of the foster care system and then became advocates, uh, you know, in our lives, uh, both, you know, in our personal lives with friends and, and family members, but then as advocates, as Catholics, as committed Catholics and helping our, you know, Catholic brothers and sisters, you know, come to know that, you know, this is an extension of um, the work that we do as, uh, as you know, people of a, of a pro-life um you know, worldview. Mm -hmm. And um, I met the director, writer and director of this film through personal friend, personal connection, uh, Josh and Rebecca Weigel, uh, who themselves had adopted two children out of the foster care system. And we connected even before the, the, the script was written. And so very early on, I was able to get a, a peek into how they were going to bring this story uh, to life, you know, through a feature film. And so I journeyed with them through the script process and gave notes and feedback, you know, from the heart of a mother of, of parenting children, you know, who've come from these difficult circumstances. Um, and I was able to, you know, once the script was done, you know, be with them on set as they, you know, worked with the actors and, uh, the crew to, you know, tell this story, you know, I, I live in East Texas now myself. And so this story comes from East Texas. I was able to visit the community and meet the real people. And so it, it, it has been a great blessing to have my personal life, you know, as a mom to children, uh, as a Catholic, you know, the committed pro-life woman, uh, be able to have this kind of front row seat to seeing this story come to the big screen because it really is the answer uh, to the, the foster care or uh, you know orphan crisis in our country. Uh, it's just a beautiful testimony to what one church community can do um, to help give every child a family. And the the um, I warned our listeners it's a it is a it is one of uh, maybe the most powerful trailers I've I've watched, and I don't know if it just caught me in the right moment or not. But but the, the there there are scenes in there that are difficult for people to watch. I think even within the trailer, um, it, it, it exposes and it, it it touches upon the the worst of humanity. Uh, while at the same point in time, the, the central theme of the story is, is the, the greatness that humanity can rise up to in, in, in I'll say, I think with, with no shame of rescuing these children from a system that uh, maybe doesn't always have their best interests in mind. Uh, um, talk a little bit about the just maybe the rawness of this film itself to, uh, to, to, to again, highlight those two extremes uh, again, allowing the hope to overshadow the darkness that, uh, that that is that is exposed here. Sure. So you know, it is a true story. So it it tells you know the real 
the reality of what this church community um, in East Texas uh, went through in deciding to, uh, as a community, rescue these the most difficult you know cases of um, children in the in the foster system and what how they dealt with some of the challenges that came through um, committing to that love you know for for these for these young people and so it um, Josh Weigel the director he didn't shy away from exposing the reality of what some of these children have to go through um, when they are separated from their families of origin and the circumstances of um, of why those separations occurred. And so it does, I, I wouldn't say there is gratuitous, um, you know, scenes in there that would be, you know, impossible to watch, but it certainly doesn't shy away from, you know, exposing how, uh, how much pain can be involved in the lives of these kids as they make their transition, you know, from the foster care system into these loving homes. Yeah, and I think the uh, when I when I say that, you know, I think in a sense, like I think Passion of the Christ like scenes that are ta- difficult to watch, but I think we have to see them so we can, you know, kind of admit to the reality that uh, there are kids that suffer unimaginably, and uh, but again, that it highlights this wonderful, this beautiful hope. Uh, that uh, that this community provides in in, in taking on the, those children, as it said in the movie, that nobody else wants. What um, what what are what are some things that uh, again drove you to um, uh, you know I, I want to say embrace this life of, of foster care and, and uh, in, in welcoming children into your own home. And then just how I think it's just uh, obviously it's a work of God that you get the opportunity to um, uh, share your experience in the shaping of this this film uh, that, uh, again, I think is going to move a lot of hearts for certain. Yeah, so um, we had a little bit of, a, of an interesting journey that got us here, my husband and I. So we were married for 15 years. Uh, and we're not able to have children of our own. And for various reasons, you know, my husband was not 100% comfortable with the idea of private adoption. And, you know, we had, we had um, in- explored that option, you, you know, I would say maybe 8 to 10 years into our marriage. But I just, he just was not, there were, there were various aspects of it that he just didn't feel comfortable with. And when we found ourselves uh, becoming aware of the opportunity that we have uh, to welcome children into our homes, you know, through foster care, uh, it became much more of um, a calling of the heart um, for us. You know, I I like to tell the story that, um, you know, if you remember the... um, the, the the Grinch who stole Christmas. There's a scene in the the film where you know when the Grinch you know finally realizes that you know Christmas is is this wonderful thing. Um, he describes his heart having grown you know three times wow. um, as big, and that really is what happened to us. You know we we selfishly became involved with foster care adoption because we could not have children of our own, and this was the way that we journeyed to build our family. And then once we got, we became exposed to the crisis. Um, And as Catholics, you know, and even if you, you know, look and you read scripture, you know that um, in in the book of James, we're, we're told, we're commanded that, and shown that true religion is to care for the orphan. Um, That's part of our calling as Christians. Um, it really, it really manifests itself, in, at least in our lives, in a very profound way. That the Lord was calling us to really commit our lives um, to doing whatever we we could uh, to make it so that there, the children that that were coming into our lives would have the option option to you know have a have a complete family to have to and experience so, the, the, the commitment of love right as, as you talked about in the uh as this this um uh 
uh, as, his, as his community in East Texas did in, in adopting the uh, children from foster care. Uh, Lisa Wheeler, uh, thank you for sharing that, that testimony. I know locally some families who have uh, embarked on a similar path and, and, and experienced a similar journey. And the, uh, you know, foster, fostering children is, is, is not easy. But it is rich with blessings, and uh, I think you're a great testimony to that. And I'm so glad you got the opportunity to uh, use your experience to help shape this movie. The movie Sound of Hope, coming out, uh, the, the story of Possum Trot. It will be in theaters uh, beginning July 4th weekend, casting a, a, a light on the hope and solution to, uh, to, to the orphan crisis that we, we currently see in our, uh, in our country and our culture. Lisa, thank you for taking time to be with us this morning. We hope uh, to uh, talk to you again in the future. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. God bless. Listen to the Catholic Morning Show weekday mornings at 7 on the Iowa Catholic Radio Network, iowacatholicradio.com, or the Iowa Catholic Radio app.